Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a lace closure wig from start to finish. So we're going to start off by bleaching the knots of the closure. And I have a full uh, detailed video on this that you can click on if you need a full you know, descriptive uh, explanation on this. But I'm really just mixing the bleach with the developer until it's a pasty kind of consistency and then dabbing it on the closure. And then I'm waiting 25 minutes for it to settle in. And when I wash it out, it should look like a scalp. The next step is to customize the hairline of the closure by tweezing it. And this is also included in that video that I was talking about, how to customize your lace closure or lace frontal. So I'm just speeding through this right now. So if you need a full description, then you can watch that video. And this is the amount of hair that I took out while I squeezed it. And this is what it looked like afterwards. I need some baby hairs and it looks real. So the next step is to sew on the closure. So you bring the closure wherever you want it to go and the lace is going to go in front of the wig cap. And then you're going to sew on one side first. So you go through once and then you wrap the second time you go through, you wrap the thread around the needle and pull through. So you can look closely here. I put it through and then I wrap the thread around twice. And then I pull the needle all the way through and it makes a knot. So I'm going to continue to do that along one side of the closure. And I'm just speeding this up right here. But it's the same concept all throughout. And then when I get to the very end, here I'm running out of thread, so I wrap it around the needle three times so that the knot is uh, more steady. And then I pull it all the way through, and I cut the end of it. And then I tie a knot two or three times. And then I'm going to cut the end of that again. Now I'm going to move on to the other side to make sure that both sides are equally laid down. So I'm not going to do one side and then go to the back and then the other side. I do both sides first and then move on to the back. So I sped up this entire process because it's pretty repetitive. So you guys can just watch that. From here, I'm moving on to the back. So you don't have to stop at the side and then start over. You can just go from that side and move right on to the back. Now when you're finishing, I wrap it around, wrap the thread around three times, and then I create like three, two or three knots by just looping it around and pulling it through. And then I clip that end. And just as I did before, I'm going to make some more knots, two or three knots. Then I cut the end. And now you can take a look at the stitching. So I do it pretty close together for the closure. You'll see for the actual tracks, I do it a little further apart. But this is what it looks like. And now we're going to move on to constructing the actual wig. So I did the first track so you can see what it looks like. It's a little bit more, the stitching is more um, spread apart a little bit. But I do double wefts in the very back. So two of the tracks put together is what I start with. And then I move on to singles. So you're going to see what I do here. So I put the needle in between the, the wefts, like in the wefts, not through the hair because it's just going to slide out. And I've actually done that before. <laughs> so make sure you're putting it through the wefts and then through the wig cap. So you don't want to put 
the tracks like all the way around the circumference of the wig cap. You want to kind of do it in somewhat of a, sp a smiley face in the back of the wig cap. So you go through once and then you go through around the same place again and then wrap the thread around same way that you did for the closure. Once that one end is tacked down, you're going to tack down the middle of the track, pretty much, uh, with the T-pin. And then you're going to continue to secure that one end by wrapping the thread around the needle and then work your way all the way down to the middle. Now once I get to the middle, I'm going to tack down the other end and then work from the middle to that end. So when I get to the very end, I wrap the thread around the needle three times to make it more secure. And then I make like three knots. Then I'm going to cut the end of that thread. And right away I make like three knots on the end of the, the um, thread so that it doesn't fall apart. And then I cut the end of the track. Now you can take a look at this that I just did. And now I'm going to move on to do single uh, tracks instead of double tracks put together. So you can continue to do doubles if you want to. But I'm going to put it right through the wefts. And then do the same exact thing. Go through the end once. And then go through that around that same area again and wrap the thread around two or three times. And then pull it through. And now once it's secure, I'm going to tack it down to the middle with a T-pin and then work my way toward that T-pin. So now here my uh, thread was getting too small so I just cut the end and I just made like three or four knots and then cut the very end of that thread again. Now I made a whole new uh, needle and thread and I go through once and then go through that same area another time and then wrap the thread around twice and pull through the same way that you would if you were beginning a whole track. Now since I got to the middle, I tacked down the other end with the T-pin and then now I'm working my way all the way over there, just like I did for the other track. So now once I got to the very end, again, I wrapped it around three times and then made some knots to make sure that it was absolutely secure. And I cut the end of that thread, make my knots right away, and then cut the end of the track. Now once I get to about half of the head, I leave it there and then I go to the top of the head just to make sure that I'm going in the shape that I want. And I bring the needle through the weft, through the wig cap, and then up through the closure. So you want this to all be connected to the closure. 
to do the same thing that I did before go through once and then go through that same area again and then wrap the thread around the needle two or three times and then I'm going to continue to work my way around in somewhat of a U-shape um, form. So to finish that off, again I'm making my two or three knots and then cutting the end. And now I'm going to go right back to where I finished off in the back. And since the tracks are becoming smaller and smaller, I'm going to just tack down one end and then sew all the way to that end. instead of tacking down to the middle and then to the end I just tack down one end and then work my way all the way through So now we've gotten to the top of the head and you see that we've been sewing in a U shape but now we're going to go ahead and sew straight all the way up until the very top track. And we're going to do this just to minimize the amount of bulky uh, tracks. So it's the same concept all throughout so you can just watch that. And once you get to basically the top of the head, you want to make sure that your tracks are a little bit more spaced out than they would be at the bottom because you don't want it to look too top heavy and bulky. So now I'm going to let down the hair that's in the closure. And it looks a little rough right now because it's been stuck in that bun for a while. And the hair texture is a little bit different only because I had to comb it out when I was tweezing the, the closure. Um, but once you wash it, it'll, be, it'll become the same curl pattern. So next you want to cut off the piece of the wig cap that's directly under the closure so that the closure is sitting right on your scalp and then you want to cut the lace that's in the very front. And here is the finished product. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and that it was very helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in the next video.